Okay, this will be a short video showing you how to do the math that is associated with Laplace equations and first order processes. So let's have a look at an example question here. Hopefully, oh my, this is causing some, uh, whoa, let's, uh, that hurt a little bit. Let's try that again. There we go. All right, here we have a graph, and we need to draw it. Uh, first, of all, we, first of all, we need to know what is it that we are going to be drawing. So that involves identifying what type of transfer function. So we look at our transfer function here, and you see that the format is 1.5 over 1 plus 1. 0.5s. So this is the same as k over uh, 1 plus t1s, which is indicative of a first order process. So we know that a first order process is going to have a line that looks something like so. So again, here's our magic trio. We know the transfer function formula format. We know the name of the process. Uh, related to that transfer function and the graph that is also related to those two things. So next thing we have to do is start to identify points on our graph. First thing we can tell from our transfer function equation is that 1.5 is our static gain, which means that we are going to be going 1.5 times our input step change, in this case, 15%. And if we do that math really quickly, my calculator here, 1.5 times 15 is equal to 22 and a half. So our overall process change is going to be 22 and a half percent. So if we're at 50 plus 22.5 is going to equal 72.5. So we could go up. 50, 60, 70, 2.5 is somewhere in this general area. That's where we know that we're going to next reach our static state. Next thing we have to do is find out what our T1 time is. Our T1 time is going to be equal to 0.632 times that number we calculated up there, 22.5. So we'll do that times 0.632 is equal to 14.22. And that will be percent. So now we can go to 50, 60, 65, just under 65. This would be plus 50. I'll do that plus 50 means that we're going to be at 64.22 when we get our T1. Okay, so we're gonna go up 64.22 at our T1. Our T1 occurs at 1.5 squares, so here. And our 14.22, or add that to 50, 64.22 is there. So our curved line is gonna look something like that. That's how you do the math. Okay, let's see if we can find an example going the other direction. Here we go. We now need to find a transfer function based on the graph. So again, looking at the graph, we can tell by the shape again, sudden rise, leveling out, reaching a new uh, steady state, that it's first order, and then it's going to have a transfer function of um, uh, 1 over 1 plus T1S, or, or K over 1 plus T1S. So let's look at filling in some of these values. What is K? That's simply our change 
in output over come on pen doesn't want to work on me over a change in input in this case it's this value here which is 30 percent our change here which is 10 percent so our change in output is 30 over 10 which means that we have a k equal to 3 so we can put that into our replace equation it's going to be 3 over 1 plus something something what is our t1s time it is going to be based off of this 30 percent times 0.632 30 times 0.632 is equal to 18.96. So that's the number we're going above 50. So 50, 60, 70 would be 20. So just under 70 until we hit our graph. This is our magic spot there. We draw a line down. Then from here to here, is our T1 time. And in this case, it looks like about 0.75 pass. Hope that works for you. Good luck.